Hey, it's Tom, and today we're going to build a Node.js app that will monitor reviews in the App Store. When the new review will be detected, app will send us an email with information about new review. Okay, so let's jump to the code. Okay, so I prepared an empty directory, uh, just run npm in it. And uh, right now we can start writing our code. So to in the past, I was checking uh, how to get reviews uh, from the App Store and unfortunately there is no publicly available API but there is an, uh, an endpoint that we can use to get the reviews uh, from uh, uh, iTunes App Store so at first we need to send a request to get uh, reviews for, for, an, for an app and then we'll try to process them uh, luckily um, we can get those reviews in a JSON format so that's very easy to consume and uh, parse it. So at first, maybe install a request a library. So um, I'm not using a request promise because I believe that the request is simpler and for case of tutorial, it will be just much easier for you to understand. So npm install request. Okay, so we'll install it. Yeah. It's there, so we can create a new file, call it index.js, because why not? And then just uh, const request uh, I'm looking into my code that I pre prepared uh, in the morning. To, to just make the whole tutorial uh, faster. Require request. Okay, that's that's all we need uh, in our first step. Let me just configure my um, my desktop. And okay, right now we can just send a request, get the JSON file, and and check how we can parse that. So let's jump to the code. Um, action patch reviews, and there will be three parameters app ID, country code, and page. Because uh, all the reviews are paginated, so there are only 50 uh, reviews per page, and Apple allows us to fetch only recent up to recent uh, 10 pages so uh, the maximum amount of reviews that we can fetch uh, is 500 okay and then we can we have to create an url so i prepared the format of url previously okay so there is a base uh, itunes.apple.com rss customer reviews page and uh, mm, the pages are counted uh, starting from one and then there is an app id uh, let me show you how we can find an app id so the easiest way to find it is to simply uh, write for example twitter app store and then open the link and as you see uh, the id is here so the the url for a particular app contains luckily the ID so we can copy that okay let's move it here and yeah so const app ID will be something like that page okay let's fetch just one just first page and then there's a country code uh, the list of all available country codes uh, will be uh, in the description of, of this video or in the rep repository that, that will be uh, linked, of course, from, from this video. Uh, just for simplicity, we can use uh, United States. So const uh, country code equals US. Okay, so we have URL and then we can call request. We have to provide this URL and then there is a function that uh, returns this error 
response, yeah, that would be easier. And body. Okay, uh, that looks good. And yeah, we can just so look, uh, we have to body. Yeah. Okay. Um, then we can call just fetch reviews for an app ID. So it will be app ID country code and page. Okay. Uh, let's see what will be result of this. Okay, so we can just simply run node index. Yeah, looks like we got something. A um, lot of code. Uh, it's pretty hard to parse it right now, but we can use uh, some external tools like uh, online JSON parsing. Let me show. Okay, online JSON parser. Just put our code here. Yeah. And as you see, the structure right now is pretty easy. So we have a uh, feed. It's uh, item store. Oh, that doesn't matter for us. Uh, all we need probably is entry, right? Yeah. So the object that, enters, that, that is interesting for us is entry. We have 50 reviews and each review yeah, each review has a um, couple of fields. So we can simply, as I believe, copy that locally. So it will be just easier for us to remember how to parse it. Um, okay, this console, maybe clean it. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, and as a reference, we can just put it here. Okay, that's, that's that's matching, but okay, that, that doesn't really matter for us. Okay, so just as a reference, let's keep it here. So um, definitely we need to add some couple uh, additional variables. So maybe let reviews, let reviews. Uh, that would be an empty array. So we will store um, the reviews here. And uh, then uh, we can parse the code. If only uh, there is no error. And um, maybe if the response code is 200, status code equals 200. Okay. If that will return something, um, that should work, I hope. Okay, so let's try to parse the data. So um, let JSON data be JSON parse uh, body. Okay, so we already parsed the JSON and we keep it in a JSON type object. And then we have to get the entry. That's uh, date, JSON data, JSON data of of feed, and then of entry. Okay, so we have entry, and entry is an array of uh, all reviews that we want to parse. So um, we could check if there is an entry, but okay. Uh, let's assume that there is entry. The, the code uh, uh, won't be perfect, but the, the general idea behind this tutorial is to just learn you, uh, teach you how to parse this kind of data and uh, how to work. So, okay, so uh, for const review off, uh, never iterate using in because you, you then you will get an index instead of the object of entry. Okay. 
and then we have uh, yeah then we have all those fields that are interesting for us so uh, yeah we can call it uh, raw review and I will just copy code from uh, from my previous uh, um, attempt because that's 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 pointless to to write it all um, okay there will be promise in future but let's not dive too fast okay so uh, we have raw re re review so that's the whole JSON object but we want to structurize the new object uh, with uh, keys that we know so we can create uh, let because uh, that will be easier and then we'll create an object called comment and we'll assign uh, the values from particular parts of of this JSON to keys that that we want to use so we will need ID of the review because that's important to be able to compare if the review is newer than than the uh, the previous one we'll do that in uh, later on uh, we also have author uh, version because that's that's uh, the info about the version of the app uh, rating that's of course important title and comment that's self-explanatory okay uh, so we can write the code once once again I think and right now uh, we'll print of course all the reviews but they will be structurized yeah so as you see we have a pretty cool objects um, with the keys that, are, that that were defined by us uh, and are much easier to understand okay so clean the console so we already have uh, a code that, that 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 parses and returns reviews for a particular app for a particular region and for a particular page okay however uh, it's still important to remember that uh, it's an async code so for an async code we should run it uh, asynchronously so we can do something like this and now we'll just use promise uh, so the request promise library that you can use of course uh, makes exactly the same thing that we'll do right now so we'll just create a promise and uh, resolve that when the content will be parsed so yeah we can uh, we can create a new promise promise um, and then we have to resolve reject resolve reject uh, let it be an array function okay the whole request will be there Okay, let's move it here. And so if, uh, if we will parse everything, uh, so here we have to re reject with the error, but if everything will be parsed correctly, we can just call resolve and return reviews. Okay, uh, of course, um, even if there will be an error uh, or the status code will be different, we'll just return empty array. However, um, we can add something like this and then it will also work. Uh, so actually we should move this uh, for, yeah and this catch should be here so we'll resolve if the for loop will go reject else reject okay uh, that should work i believe so yeah we have a, a method that that's that is able to uh, to fetch all this data and uh, right now um, 
we should check if there is a new review. So let's create a new method called um, it also has to be async because we'll call we'll call the fetch reviews. Uh, start monitoring. Start monitoring. Yeah. Sounds pretty important uh, function. Okay, so this function will call uh, the fetch reviews and will compare uh, the most recent reviews uh, to the one that we store locally. So we have to last review ID equals zero. Okay, so this function uh, essentially will call the fetch reviews for only first page and then uh, we will compare all the reviews returned to check if there is uh, uh, a new review um, that has different ID than the uh, last review ID. So of course at first run um, we, we will have to uh, assign the, um, the most recent review ID to the last review ID. So we can create a new reviews it will be an array with only new reviews that we will be able to fetch um, okay so in this case we also uh, we also have to call try yeah because yeah let's let's make it this way catch error okay so we can define the Mm, page still can be the first page okay so let all reviews and synchronously call the fetch reviews okay uh, so all reviews con will contain right now all reviews from first page so the 50 most recent reviews for our app and if our reviews count will be yeah so that's just security uh, for an app that's uh, a new because new app will have uh, zero reviews or if you will just uh, push a new release and uh, check the uh, delete all uh, reviews uh, check mark in the item store then the app won't get any reviews at all so uh, if last review ID equals uh, we can do it's like uh, something like that if the last review ID is equal to zero then we have to assign uh, last review ID will be equal to all reviews the first object and the key is ID okay so at first run of this method we will assign uh, the most recent the, the the ID of the first review to our uh, last review ID of course if only last review ID is, is zero and otherwise uh, we can just um, loop through through all all the reviews so const review off not in uh, uh, all reviews and uh, right now we have to compare if ID of the review uh, if ID of this is equal to uh, last review ID then we can uh, break uh, otherwise we can push this review to the uh, list of new reviews so new reviews push review okay so in general how this works is uh, that we'll going through all the reviews uh, until we'll match the first that has the id equal to the last uh, review id that that was uh, reported to us I will uh, explain you how it's working later because we will just run the code uh, again and they, 
again. Mm, okay, so we do something like this. And right here we can just console log. Uh, we got new reviews plus uh, reviews. Okay. Okay, that should work, I believe. Ooh. Uh, line 36 is not working. So resolve. Um, yeah, we have to return reviews, not review. Okay. That's, that's okay. We got zero reviews. Okay, that's... Uh, that's because uh, at this attempt the last review ID was zero so we just assigned uh, the most recent um, the review of, of the first uh, uh, review to, to the last review ID and we, we didn't go through this whole loop however we can make some, some trick so Let's check there is one, two, three reviews and the four review ID is this. So we can assign this value here. And that should work, I believe. Okay. So, okay, node index. Oh, that's interesting. Um, why that doesn't work? Okay, let's check. Uh, okay, maybe try again. Still zero reviews. Okay, let me debug it. Okay, so I fixed that. Uh, too much of, of Swift. So I checked if the all reviews count was bigger than zero. And it's an array and in JavaScript, of course, we use length in, instead of count. So right now, if we will uh, run the code, yeah, we got three reviews. Uh, yeah, so that was fourth review. So three of them were different. Then we, uh, then, uh, we matched the, the pattern. The ID was equal to the last review ID. And... Uh, so, so we stopped the loop. Okay, so it looks like uh, it's working. However, uh, right now we should run this code uh, not only once, but uh, every 10, 15 minutes maybe. So um, the idea, maybe new reads, is to use uh, some kind of uh, cron tool. And, and uh, for that, we can install a cron library for for uh, for node. Uh, it's called exactly cron. So npm install cron. Yep, it's working. And uh, then uh, we just need to import that. Let's import that on the top. And then we can uh, just declare the job. So let me copy the code from my uh, recent try of, of, of this tutorial. So yeah, let job. And it's, it's pretty simple. So um, we have a cron job, which is a, a, a method. And then we have uh, this pattern and there are in all places asterisks, asterisks and each of them uh, is uh, responsible for for different part of the time so the first is seconds then minutes then hours then days then months and then years so in this case this code uh, will be run every every single second uh, so if we want to run that uh, every five seconds for example we can do something like that 
and if you want to run this code every 10 minutes we can do something like that of course normally if you are not owner of twitter or uh or facebook app i think it's totally enough to run this code every 15 minutes maybe uh, i'm not quite sure uh, how many requests you can send to itunes uh, per day to not be banned by by apple uh, and accused of ddos attack so uh, normally we can use that uh, run that every 15 minutes but for our case we can call it every five seconds so you will see how it's working and uh, in this function we just declare the job that has to be done and this parameter is responsible for running the uh, job declared within the function at the start of this method so as soon as we call job.start and okay so we can try to run this right now okay and uh, the index it started then five seconds five seconds yeah so uh, as we see it's working so right now it would be uh, pretty fine to get a notification on email so for this case uh, we can use node mailer uh, it's a pretty easy to use uh, library uh, and to not uh, put too much effort into that uh, right here I will just put the the method uh, and that we need right here so I wrote it previously and yeah we have a send notification method and that's creating a transporter so that that was gmail account that I created just for case of this tutorial the password will be changed of course uh, then there is a text to send uh, we will send uh, part of the text in the plain uh, text and uh, part as an HTML and uh, yeah so right now we just need to call this method uh, start monitoring yeah so we have to uh, send this if uh, there are more reviews if uh, new reviews length is uh, bigger than zero then we can send notification with new reviews okay so uh, of course this uh, this won't work right now uh, because uh, there won't be new reviews uh, but we can fake it uh, a little bit so maybe let's run that every i don't know 15 seconds okay and maybe let's uh, just log the reviews so we can fake the last review id uh, to show you that it's really working okay so let's clean the console uh, sorry node index okay we got zero reviews uh, the code will be running in the background so you will see that every 15 seconds but we can just go to the very top and for example uh, let's assume that we ran this code a couple hours ago and the last id of the review that was recorded uh, was this okay uh, still zero reviews okay we can stop the code uh, delete the comment and we can replace that with this okay and yeah so if we will run this code right now i hope that it will work and will send us a notification so uh, node mailer is not defined of oh okay sorry so i copied the method but didn't import it uh, so calls node mailer require node mailer yeah it should work right now okay so let's clear that node index we got three new reviews 
and it looks like the message was sent and let me check on my iPhone because I'm just using that uh, for recording but hopefully you will see that there is an email reviews notifier new reviews and if I will open that uh, yeah so it was run uh, once again okay yeah so we have uh, three new reviews uh, the, the title text title text title text so it was sent uh, yeah it was sent just a moment ago okay so it's working uh, actually we can run it again so yeah you'll see that it's it's working pretty fast yeah it's working okay so let's stop the code and um, yeah the code is uh, this com is com complete of course um, the source code uh, will be linked uh, below the in the description of the video and thank you for your time devoted to to watching uh, this tutorial let me know down in the comment section if you like this kind of videos and if you would like to see more of them uh, on this channel and thank you for watching see you next time bye